going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, October 14th, 2024. Hope everyone had a good weekend. New all-time highs just hit this morning by S&P Futures. Dow a little bit in the red. Dow futures down 29. NASDAQ down 103. I'm sorry, NASDAQ futures up 103. SP futures up 17. VIX down a third of a percent. So I'm not going to trade my one DTE. I might if um things start to become the VIX goes up in here this morning. I may put it on a little bit late. No really any no news today or anything like that. So that doesn't always mean the markets will be calm though. So position size appropriately. The bond market is closed. Chris Waller speaks, the Federal Reserve Governor at 2 p.m. Central. That's it, really, though. And NVIDIA up a little over 1.5%. The bell has rung. S&P came down just a little bit, but opened and just touched all-time highs. Morning, Ken. Morning, El Piero. Morning, MS. There are there's a lot of stocks that are in the red, though, even though NASDAQ is up over half a percent.
Nvidia strong pushing up over two percent. S&P pushing up all-time highs. This doesn't bode well for very wide premiums or very high premiums today. And my one DTE would be about 80 wide if I was to place it. Wow. Zero DTE would be about... Forty wide right now at the start. Wow. You just never know what the markets are going to do with these all-time highs. You know, at some point, sometimes you get these big pullbacks. Boeing pushing down. I heard something where Boeing has to lay off, like is going to lay off like 10% of its workforce. I got something going on with my toss here. Gonna have to shut it down and restart it.
S and P still pushing. My toss was frozen up a little bit, so just restarting it quick. Crazy how we're at all time highs, but VIX is still over twenty. I'm on toss. Microsoft get a potential big volume bar. Didn't quite get there. So no volume bars. Vic's coming back up now a little bit. NVIDIA had this nice push up. Now just pausing here a little bit. Uh, I don't know of any news in 20 minutes. El Piero, what, what kind of news is it? NVIDIA is acting like it wants to continue to push up here for an early continuation runner.
Hmm. Didn't have that on the market watch calendar. I wonder if it doesn't really impact the markets then. What time is that? Top of the hour? Uh, yeah, I've never, I've never not traded because of some, because of that. But you never know. I'm gonna look at jumping at a little Nvidia here. A little upside continuation on the one thirty eight calls. Build at 254, 138 calls in NVIDIA. Build at 254. And if it comes down past where it's pausing here, I'll just close it. Not seeing any mighty 90s. Going to give NVIDIA till the close of this bar here before I do anything. It's coming down a little bit lower than I wanted it to, but I'm going to let this bar finish. S&P, new all-time highs again. Tesla coming down through lows of day. All right, so I want to see NVIDIA pop up here. I'm going to close it. Netflix through highs of day. Need you to pop up there, NVIDIA. I would close half my NVIDIA at 280. Wow, S&P pushing. It's pretty crazy how strong this market is. Going to be real careful with TLC trades today. S&P has moved up 15 points from the open. We may hit 6,000 this week. Well, stair stepping down in volume doesn't give us many opportunities. Like you can see, like Microsoft here, just stair stepping down.
Yeah, I wanted NVIDIA to get through highs of day here. So if it doesn't buy this next one, <clears throat> I might close it. I'm just going to be real careful with it, though. Meta maybe getting a mighty 90. You got to see this push up to highs. When you're in a mighty 90 short situation, you want you want that good volume pop, but you also want price to be up at the up at its highs at that bar. You wouldn't get in if it's pulled back like this. S P pushing. NVIDIA is in a pretty tight range. Yeah, so Meta's got a mighty 90 short, but the price is pulled back. Yeah, so that would not be the time to get in. NASDAQ up 179. All right, I want to see NVIDIA go through highs of day here. Yeah, if Meta was to push up and... You know, it could still be a, considered a mighty 90. New all time highs again, SP. Again, I got an order at 280, close half my NVIDIA. Yeah, I want it to get through highs here. Don't want to get rejected. You know, I want to do what Microsoft's doing. You got to be careful on some of these, you know, markets pushing up. It's strong. And you're thinking, yeah, man, I got to get long something. And all of a sudden there's a big down move because it's been pushing up. So you just got to be careful. Video is pretty much about where I got in. There, it's trying to get through highs. Dig through highs of day. Here we go. Build at 280 in NVIDIA. Close half. I 
I would get out of another video at 305. I was watching Microsoft and I was really wanting to get logs and almost had that big green bar, but it really hasn't given any pullbacks. S&P had an expected move of 22 points. And it was coming right up on the expected move just a minute ago. On the upper upper end of the expected move. Goog is getting a potential mighty 90. It's not a really great volume pop and separation there. It's also very strong. There's still a ton of stocks in the red, which is, and they must be part of the Dow because the Dow is still red down 70 points. Meta trying to push back up. See if he can get up to 597 there. Yeah, I'm not sure I want a short meta right now. Build at 305 to close another, close a quarter of my NVIDIA. I will close another NVIDIA at 340. Look at maybe getting long Apple on a continuation runner. It's had a little three bar pullback. We'll do the two thirty calls in Apple. Build at 264 in Apple. Build in 264 in Apple. So if it breaks down 
past here where this other push up was, then I would just get out of it. Definitely going to let this bar finish here. Filled at 340 and then NVIDIA to close a quarter. I would close half my Apple at 290. I would close another NVIDIA at 375. Yeah, good no short in meta. Another all time high for the S and P. <clears throat> Meta now getting a lot better Mighty 90 but Yeah it's a nice Mighty 90 Right there If you're brave enough to short something Right now And there are a lot of red stocks Which is pretty crazy NASDAQ up 219. All right, so I want to see a bounce in Apple here. I mean, sometimes you get these stocks that'll, that'll push up with a couple, two or three big pushes, and then they just can't sustain it. They just trend lower. Probably should have jumped in that meta mighty 90. That's a pretty good setup. I mean, you see how it's definitely good volume separation there on the uh, volume pop. Nice price push right at the end, right at the very end. Apple has not really gone anywhere. I was looking at either Microsoft or Apple, and I did Apple because it had pulled back further. Yeah, I mean, Microsoft, I'm sorry, Meta still looks like it wants to go up. Same with NVIDIA.
Apple not reversing yet. Meta did. Big push up in coin. I'm going to let this bar finish an apple and then make my decision on it. But I mean, there's got to be some type of pullback here. You can't just go up all day. I'm going to let this bar finish. VIX still hasn't really moved much. Yeah, Coinbase getting a mighty 90 short. See if it pushes up to highs of day. Might get short coin. See if coin can give me a push up. When I'm looking at a stock and I'm about, you know, I'm really keeping a close eye on it because it's nearing my exit or my lie in the sand, like Steve says. Um, I usually like to give it the first minute if there's a brand new bar. So just gave Apple a minute. And it was trying, it's trying to pop up here. So we'll give it another minute. Meta trying to spit out its two consecutive red bars on that mighty 90. Microsoft, a little push up, a little three bar pullback here. Tesla falling apart. That's pretty good setup for a continuation runner in Microsoft. Push up, little three bar pullback. But I'm not I'm just gonna stick with my two that I have on. And meta, same thing. Push up, little pullback. I 
Does NVIDIA have more in the tank? Can it push through highs of day again? Ah, now Apple coming back down. Shucks. Thought it was going to take off for me. Still might. Best slug getting a little mighty 90 long. I do like that with that push down. If it can come back down. Tesla so can keep coming down here. I would trade the two seventeen point five calls. Two seventeen point five calls. Trying to get filled at four fifteen. Build at 420 in Tesla on that mighty 90. I get out of half at 465. All right, so Apple tried to push up. I'm going to give it a minute here, but it's not looking good. I like to give it that first minute because sometimes, you know, in the first minute it might have a, you know, Kind of a fake move, kind of like what Apple just did. Push down and now, oh, that immediately popped up. So I like to give it that one minute to see. Now, if it looks like it wants to continue lower after a move like it just had, then I would exit. But here it's popping back up. So I'll continue to hold it. Yeah, Mighty 90 and Tesla. You're going to close Apple. Just, it's just not doing what a continuation runner should do. Filled at 241. So just never continue to the upside. You know, you want that, you want that three bar pullback and then continue up, and it never did that. All right, so the S and P starting to consolidate a little bit. Wow. 
wow, premiums are low. Like you might get 40 wide, maybe 35 probably. For an iron condor. I'm going to go ahead and close my NVIDIA as well. Trying to get out of NVIDIA, but I cannot. There we go. Fill it 325 to close NVIDIA. It's a nice winner. It's just starting to chop here. Tesla came down to Friday's low. Wait for two green bars on it. All right, so Tesla gave me one green bar. Tesla staying weak. Going through yesterday Friday's low now. Might be in I might be in a situation to add in Tesla. Add in Tesla at 370. Build at 370 in Tesla. See, here's uh, here's the, we're getting some some decent down movement now from the S and P. It's come down about 10 points in 20 minutes because that's what I was talking about. You get these really tiny premiums. You can get stopped out pretty easy. Um, let's see. I get out of half my Tesla at 420, which was my original fill.
Yeah, Meta, Meta had a that mighty ninety would have given would have been a winner. Gave two, gave three red bars in a row, but I usually get out at two. I probably would have gotten out at two on that one because Tesla or Meta is strong. Good out in Apple and NVIDIA. So played those really well. Microsoft looks like it wants to take off. Roku coming down to lows of day. All right, let's get a let's get a bounce here, Tesla. And all we would really need would be a two bar bounce like these right here. Yeah, Microsoft looks like it, it's ready to go through highs of day. <clears throat> yeah, Microsoft would have been a better upside continuation than Apple. Yeah, Meta is still coming down though. Tesla trying to give us a green bar here. I'll lower my... I've got an order at 420. I'm going to lower it to 410. Get out of half my Tesla. Nice push up by Microsoft, darn it. Picked the wrong one.
S and P popping right back up. All right, give us another strong push like that last bar there, Mena, or um, Tesla. We'll be good. We can close up shop with a green day if you do that. Build at 415. Close half of my Tesla. Got an order at 455 to close another. Really nice green bar. Really nice, really, really nice ad in Tesla. And Microsoft still pushing. Darn it. Would have, would have been a monster winner. So Tesla, I'll scale out or close everything out if I get another green bar here. S&P about ready to hit all-time highs. We may hit 6,000 by tomorrow. There it is, all time highs. Tesla pushing up. Yeah, I got an order at four fifty five to close another Tesla. Build at 455 to close another Tesla. Close another one at 490, or I'll close out when this bar ends. Now, Apple reversed, didn't it? Oh, well, that's all right. We've got about two minutes left in this bar. Yeah, no chance of shorting Microsoft. Hmm. Do I leave a little piece of Tesla on?
These are two pretty nice pushes for a mighty 90. I'm going to get out of all but two. I'm going to leave two on here. Trying to get out of all but two at 470. 475. Filled at 475. To close all but two of my Teslas. So I got two contracts left just to see if this wants to continue upward. New all-time highs again. So I'm going to watch Tesla here, and if it um, wants to keep pushing, I'll just scale out. I'll close another five bucks. But if it looks like it wants to pull back, then I'll just close. Just trying to eke out a little bit more here. New all-time highs again. S&P. Build at five bucks to close another Tesla. So getting a little more out of this mighty 90. I would close another one at 540. All right, my last one. Well, I may just get out of it here at, after this bar. VIX only down one and three quarter percent. It's been a while since I've played a mighty ninety like this. Usually I do this with shorts because in shorts, when you shorten it on a mighty 90, you, know, you get to, you can get drops really quick. We'll go ahead and get out of my last one here. It's coming up to yesterday's close. See if I can get out of it at 510 here. Netflix getting a big volume bar. Build a 510 to close NVIDIA. What a beautiful trade. All right, folks, that's it. Three trades, two green, one red. Nice green day. Um, and I'm going to be very careful with my TLC trades today. It's going to have to show me some chop. Let's take a look at what premiums are like. Oh, 
Wow. You can get a 30 wide. Only an hour into the market. Wow. Yeah. Going to be a little careful today. All right, folks. I will see everybody during power hour. Have a good one. Peace.